Uh, Jonathan Downing, I'm the brewmaster professor from that Cook College teaching brewery. Uh, well, we were basically the back of house, I guess you would call it. Uh, we have the production end. So in the teaching brewery, they learn how to brew and how to make beer and create recipes and the ingredients to use, the safety issues and everything involved in that and uh, you know, operating equipment and all of that side of things. So as far as Project Brew is concerned, we make the, or the students make the uh, beers that are used for Project Brew in my class. So it's really the first step of the whole process. Uh, basically it's done on the timing of the beers. So if we have 20 students, we know we have to get the 20 beers brewed in time and ready for the event, which means it always has to be very late in the semester. So normally around week 13. Um, and especially we have holidays and stuff like that, bank holidays and Mondays off, because that's the day that they come into brew. That always pushes us a little bit further down the road as well. So we have to make sure that between the start of semester and Project Brew, we can get all 20 beers made. We can assess them in the brewery, have them uh, brewed properly, aged properly, packaged, ready for the event. Um, so our timing is really what determines when the, the event will happen. Basically every time a student is in the brewery, the potential is there for something to happen. Um, it doesn't. We've made sure that by the time they've come into Project Brew or to their fourth semester, uh, they've learned how to operate the equipment, they've learned how to put a recipe together. Um, they are assessed on how they do that. So on their actual brew days, they're always very well organized, meticulous. They make sure that their team, because they work in a team, um, that they're in charge and they have a team of other students who are helping them out to do their brews. So by that point, they really are on, on point and on their game and know what they're doing. For us uh, to assess them and to uh, monitor what they're doing is to make sure that we can see that they're industry ready. So we interfere as little as possible. They design the beers, they decide what they're gonna make. Uh, we supply them the space and the ingredients and the, any specialty items they might need, like you know, sometimes they want to do a mango fruit beer or something. We have to make sure we can get the fruit in for them. It's you know, seasonal and things like that. Sometimes if you want to brew a mango beer in January, it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, and if they want to do fresh beers, obviously we have to wait for that particular season. So like in the summertime strawberries, that student will pick the time he knows when the strawberries will be available. So things like that, the scheduling and whatever, um, but it really is totally driven by them. They design the beer, they produce the beer. Uh, they run the team that's doing it, and we basically are assessing them as they're doing it. Um, taking it the step further, the beer has to then be proven to be good, I guess, and it'll, so it'll go to one of their sensory classes where it's assessed uh, by their peers, tested, judged, and uh, you know, they themselves will basically decide how they taste and what they think of them. Uh, and then obviously goes on to the marketing class and uh, gets put into the uh, event itself, where the general public then has their input as well. So they get to see, you know, some brewers, well, most brewers actually would um, be involved in that end part of things in this, on the smaller scale. So on a smaller scale, craft brewery, brew pub, whatever. If you tend to go and work for one of the larger guys or for one of the major breweries, then you might not do that. But it's important from our point of view that they know how to do it before they leave the school. Um, well, definitely because at the event itself, students from the other classes always volunteer. So that's usually probably more students from other classes present at Pro Project Brew than that class because they'll be there to help out, to clean up, to whatever. And they, they also will get the chance to buy the beer and try the beer because every drop of beer that we make in our brewery is sold. So whether it's sold at the event itself or, or at the uh, beer store the next day, at our beer store the next day, you know, they, the students can definitely try all these different ones. and. You, know, you often hear the comments about, oh, well, this one's a little sweet, this one's a little too fruity, you know, I would do it this way. And then when you hear that I would, you think, okay, well, he's going to be making that next time or when his turn comes around. So it's, you know, it, it, it is a showcase for that creativity, but it's also, you know, for the students coming up behind them, you know, that if, if they want to produce something in particular, they'll pay attention to what was, what's been done before. Um, we actually put no limitations on what a student wants to do for their project. So if they want to try something weird and wild and wonderful, we'll give them every opportunity to do that. Um, we've had beers that have had ridiculously expensive ingredients in them that would never in reality get produced because it's just too expensive to make. Uh, you'd never be able to you know, get the money back from them. We've had students who are doing kettle sours and barrel aging and all different kinds of things 
you know, the, the only time restraint is time, and they only have from that semester in order to do anything. So basically, the twelve weeks. You know, if you brew in week one, you've got basically twelve weeks. If you brew in week nine, you've got three weeks. So, you know, they'll decide what type of beer they want to make, and then gear it towards that. So if you're doing a larger on beer that needs some aging, they'll have to time it and fit it in. But we basically to give them no restriction apart from that it has to be done in the one semester. From from the brewery's point of view, it's to make sure that they can do the job that they're being trained to do. And really from for a student coming out of a college, I think that's you know the most important thing. It's what employers are looking for, it's what they expect to get out of their time here. Uh, if you go to Project Brew, you'll see a lot of brewery owners, a lot of brewmasters from other companies, you know, they might be coming down and socializing a bit, but they're coming down to hire, to check people out, to try the beers and, you know, maybe see what the next great thing could be because, you know, the students again will be on the cutting edge of what's coming out in the beer world uh, and they will be creating the new beers for the next 10 years or whatever. So to see what they're creating now is kind of a snapshot of what might be available in the industry in three to five years.